Mom, sometimes when I think about Christmas, I get so excited, I can't sleep. What's this? Nathan. Let's get over three ready. What's the matter? I promised this kid I'd get him home for Christmas. I didn't. I meant to get it to his parents. Maybe you still can. For the last two years, you've been acting like you're the only one grieving in this house. Well, I've got news for you. You're not. I miss Sean every single day. Where's your voice? I probably shouldn't tell you, but I have a very special Christmas present. Really? Did I tell you Sean was the first patient I ever lost? No. When I saw his parents get the news, I felt like I lost a piece of me, too. You know my mom? You know when she's coming home? She's not coming home, Emily. There was an accident. She died. It would make things a little easier if we didn't have to move until after Christmas. I cannot take a child to my house, especially this time of year. We can't talk about the bad memories because it hurts too much. We can't talk about the good memories because it hurts too much. Who's that? That's Sean. Can I see him? No. He's in heaven now. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Some mother, some father out there needs to have this. It'd be practically impossible to find out who it belongs to. Why can't she stay here for Christmas? Because she gets attached to us. She becomes nearly impossible to place. But you're excited for Christmas. My mom got me a special Christmas present. Your mom's a very generous lady. She's not my mom. My mom died. Patty's boy died, too. You know how much you miss your mom. She can't come back for Christmas. Stop saying that. She is so coming back. It's about your son. I thought I had lost that. For some reason, it turned up the other day. I think you're right about Emily. She needs to stay here for Christmas, maybe longer. Can you lift me up? I think he's been helping me. Whenever I would feel alone, I would feel him with me. He's my angel.